Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. It is Monday and that means it's time to have a look at what's been going on in Elite and around the channel. First of all, Frontiers announced that on Wednesday, that is in two days from now, they are going to launch a new patch that's going to be, it's basically just a bug fixing patch that's going to fix various things. We don't know yet exactly what it's going to include. The patch note is going to come out Monday, that'll be today, well at least the day this video goes live, but... Again, I'm recording this Sunday, so I haven't seen the patch note yet, so I don't know what's going to include. But I can make a qualified guess and say that most likely we're going to see some bug fixes, at least another attempt at a bug fix for the whole um, fire resetting of um, subservice deposits. They tried to do some something in the last patch, and they did actually state in the last patch that it was fixed, but um, it was still uh, working so I would probably expect that we're gonna see that probably being the main reason why we have this patch there will most likely also be other minor tweaks here and there that's going to be included when the patch note does come out I will post it in a pinned comment uh, below the video and if one of you guys beat me to it I'll pin that comment instead so go down to comment section if you want to see the patch note uh, as soon as it's out also there has been yet another triple overlapping low temperature diamond hotspot discovered and I know a lot of you guys are most likely pretty tired of hearing about mining and overlapping hotspots. And I was really in doubt whether I should do a video on this at all. Exactly because I know that this has been covered extensively. And I was considering like uh, maybe I shouldn't do anything about it at all. Even though there was a lot of you guys reaching out to me regarding um, that specific spot. Which by the way thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. And I always find it very useful when you guys. If you find something interesting in the game. And you give me a heads up. Because as much uh, time as I like to spend. Combing through Reddit and the forum. And Facebook and everything else. It's just me and this is a hobby. So it's, it's limited how much I can comb through everything. I would really much doubt whether to do a video. On the topic at all. And I was also considering. like Just do like a very short video like then do it as a bonus video someday and i ended up basically deciding based on the results i would get when i flew out there to test so if i got something that was extraordinarily good then i would probably do a dedicated video on it and if it was just more of the same well it would be more of the same but if it was not as good as some of the other spots then i would probably not feature it as um, as promptly now spoiler video is gonna come out later this week so you can pretty much guess what the results were it's a pretty good spot and i think it's the best one we have so far but more about that it's gonna come later in the week out in real life space there's also some rather interesting things happening there's actually a comet that's been weekend has been passing i wouldn't say close by but relatively close by um by the earth I think it's been dubbed um, C2020F3, if I recall correctly. I was out uh, Saturday night, night between Saturday and Sunday, trying to uh, to get some pictures. I did post one of them in the community tab. Uh, that was completely unprocessed, just raw, straight out of the camera, just uploaded to YouTube. And I am considering doing a small video on that as well, even though the pictures didn't turn out amazing and I don't have a whole lot of exposure. I think I only have a couple of minutes of total exposure on it. So it's not like I'm going to do anything new, groundbreaking, pretty imaging imaging out of that. The moon was also pretty, uh, pretty nice that evening, so I did get some pretty neat uh, shots of the moon. And I think it could be fun to do a video on lucky imaging. I did do a video on it like way, way, way back. I think it was within the first 10 videos on the channel or something like that. I think it's uh, it's due for a refresh. Um, if you don't know lucky imaging, it's a really, really fun, uh, really interesting um, imaging process where normally if you try to to take pictures of uh, of stellar objects you have problems with the atmosphere miraging basically like if you look down over a very hot road you know how it like shimmers and 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 it, it waves everywhere the atmosphere does the same thing just a lot less and we don't notice it but when you really zoom in on a tiny object that disturbance becomes very apparent and you can use an imaging technique called lucky imaging to get rid of that the idea is basically that you would do often like a video or at least do a lot of short exposures of the same target and then after you take all the images you then 
put it into a program or you write it yourself if you really want to, that goes in and analyze each individual frame, if there's a video or each individual picture, and determine which ones are the sharpest and which ones are the most blurry. Because you might just be, if you just take like constantly fire, 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 take short exposure pictures, you will get some that are relatively clear and you will get some that are very blurry. And then based on that, you can then set alignment points and all those pictures will then be stacked on top of each other. And then will be weighted saying, we're gonna use more of the sharp ones and less of the non-sharp ones. And you can actually get an output of that that is sharper than even the sharpest picture in the series. It's quite amazing. And I really enjoy working because it's all, I always love the results afterwards. When you look at this picture, it looks amazing when you're done and you then compare it. I've been trying to do a stack of the pictures I took um, of the comet, but it has a, because it's basically like there's a point and then there's a very weak tail. And I wanted to try and use the point and some of the other stars around to kind of do the alignment. But it's having a really, really hard time stacking the pictures correctly and you end up with just a blurry mess. So I'm still working on tweaking it, see if I can get some good, uh, good results out of that. But doing something like the surface of the moon is, is really easy because there's a lot of distinct features that's easy to spot. But anyway, I think I've been rambling on for long enough about space and astronomy and astrophotography. But once I get started, it's hard for me to stop again. But anyway, there might be some stuff coming relating to that later. And again, I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this kind of stuff in uh, in the comment section if, uh, if there's something you're interested in. And then I just need to talk about live streams, which is going to be the same time as usual. Live stream here on YouTube and on Twitch at 7 o'clock in game time. Last week it was, oh yeah, right, so sub 8 hunting with Kai from Elite Week. If you're not familiar with Elite Week, um, it's run by, by Kai, who used to be part of the Loose Group podcast, and he's now running a YouTube channel called Elite Week, which is basically like a longer format Hello Dave. It, it's, it's still news regarding what's going on in Elite, but it's a much longer format where I try to keep my videos 10 minutes-ish, you often do like two hour podcast or something like that. So if you're interested in like a longer format uh, news segment on Elite, I do recommend that you go right, check out his channel. It's some amazing stuff and he's a really nice guy. I'll post a link to his channel in the description below if you want to go and check that out. But the live stream tomorrow, I think what I'll be doing was going down to the Pleiades sector and go and hunt some goits and kill some aliens. Because, um, as I mentioned, I think it was last week or the week before that, the Anticino Initiative is running an unofficial community goal uh, where they're trying to collect Thargoid materials and it's going really, really well. So far, they've managed to collect all the like specialized materials. The only thing they need is they have a quota of 10,000 Thargoid hearts that they need to collect, I think, before the end of August. So far, they are, by the time of this recording, at least around 25%. So it's definitely getting there. And for everybody who participates and sells a Thargoid heart to the carrier, there is a decal in it for you. You get a nice little decal with like a Cobra that's shooting up a Thargoid that's exploding everywhere. Pretty cool little decal you can get. When exactly you'll get it, it'll probably be next time there's a major patch. It often takes some time. But but anyway, if you want it, then go down, kill a goid, and sell it to uh, to the Antecedent Initiative fleet carrier. I plenty of, of information about it on the Discord server. You can go and check it out there. But I thought I would do that. Um, I haven't done any goid hunting in quite a while, so I need to dust off my ship for it and probably like rebrush up on my skills because I'm probably not that good at it anymore. But I think we'll do that tomorrow. Thargoid hunting always makes for very entertaining live streams because it's one of those things that can go horribly wrong in very short amount of time. So we'll see how that goes. But that's going to be tomorrow here on the channel, live stream both again on YouTube and on Twitch at 7 o'clock in game time. Thanks a lot for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, subscribe and until next time, I will see you guys in space.